What's up guys? This is the Brave One and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. <clears throat> in this episode, um, I bring you the uh, <laughs> the start of a bit of a push against the Austrians because you've got a, a, quite a large amount of forces in this area which we can now actually start to push against uh, both this Austrian position here as well as probably taking the Berlin garrison, drive south and hit this force hits occupying our mines. But first we must knock out... Where is it? There it is. This force, which has got quite a lot of uh, elite troops, so I look forward to destroying them, including some heavy horse artillery. So let's take them out. But yes, we know... We know that we need to uh, make some real progress in Europe, and we're doing so. We've taken Cologne in that very, very messy battle. We're pushing on to Strasbourg. Uh, we are also uh, solidifying our position on the Spanish Peninsula. Oh, interesting positions. Okay, so I'm going to want to push the right flank because the, the ground is nice and open. I have limited positions for my artillery. So let's put my artillery up on this hill with a couple of units of, well, with my light cavalry. So then let's put a unit of, well, a brigade of what, six infantry units to hold the front, to hold the, the line against uh, any surprise raiders. And then let's bring a smaller unit of troops, plus howitzers, to push the right flank, along with my heavy cavalry. My general will take his position up here with the, with the guns. No heavy cavalry. Go over to the right. You guys are hucking quick climb, so you hit the lancers, you hit. Ooh, okay, howitzers are up front, so we better. Yeah. Better hustle. So I want to push well, I wanted to push on the right, but to be honest, I'd be being a bit of a silly billy if I didn't also push on the left. Considering the ground is pretty open. So three are going to push towards this spare dead ground here. These infantry units are going to go for an extreme flank. Chasseurs à cheval and my general are going to push out here as well. So we are going to be running into the jaws of some uh, Austrian troops. But we have significantly overwhelming levels of firepower. So let's target some of their following up infantry with our artillery. There we go. So now we can pour fire into the, 30, the 37th guards. The our warband towards the rear are also causing problems. Cavalry run because the 20th Lance has a in a position where they could be a bit frustrating. Let's push my flank forward. The guards have been pushed back. My heavy cavalry. Let's get them out on this extreme flank. So when you, when these, this line infantry has fired their last volley, I'll then redeploy. There we go. Redeploy these units. Keep the cavalry pushing. You men deploy square. Because the lancers are coming in. Haven't given artillery anywhere to shoot at, really. We smash the irregulars. We do have some line infantry guards to be careful of. Now get out of there. Because we did do a lot of damage to those irregulars. What I really could do with knocking out some more infantry positions. Square is broken there. Okay. So, a lot of my cavalry needs to go straight through this gap, avoid 
these defences as well as as much as possible to go through and clear out the gunners. Because we do have a lot of firepower coming our way. Yep, ignore the horse grenadier guards with my cavalry. That's a cuirassier unit I've just noticed in the centre. This infantry will be enough to deal with those horse grenadier guards. My light cavalry will not do very well against the Curassier. Beyond these guys. Actually, let's get my field artillery to focus on them. So the correct move would be to retreat my cavalry. So if I attempt to do that... Deploy two units in square formation. Mass, mass routing on the right flank. This, this flank is completely folded. No, come on. You guys run, cavalry, take out the guards. Horse grenadier guards have been broken on the left. These men push up. Our cavalry is. Oh, well, our squares are holding. Hold the artillery fire. Because these men will bravely hold off the 18th. Okay, deploy my infantry, my cavalry again to the mix to pursue. My other cavalry unit has come back, so let's bring them into the mix. Ah oh, no, don't chase down the militia. Come on, you've got eight guardsmen to kill. Hungarian grenadiers. Get my cavalry to run through as quickly as possible, you guys. Whoa! Triggered a mine. Triggered one of those defenses. Let's go after the heavy horse artillery. We're going after the irregulars. Take out the last guardsman. You hit the 6th foot guards, you're going to knock out these irregulars and then you're going to chase down the 11th foot guards. There we go. The 11th will probably escape because they are quite close. There! Cavalry! Form square! That infantry unit, if it doesn't form square fairly rapidly, it will die. Okay, you go after the Hungarian Grenadiers, and because that's... That cavalry unit's not going to be around for very long. Let's speed up time a smidge. Damn right I'm going to continue, although there's not a huge amount to do, so I'm not going to commit my general to the fight and risk losing him. Yes. There's only two Jaeger. Oh no, there's, there is three. The third guy's back there. Come on, knock him out. Knock him out. You can try chase down that warband, but you'll likely fail. You are going to kill these guardsmen, because there's only two of them. Just 
one now, although that, that's it. Hurrah! So that is one Austrian army destroyed in the field. Pushed back into Bavarian territory. So this army, repair the cloth mill. Felix, you replenish your troops. In soon you will push forward. Hit this Bavarian force and push them south of the river. This force could do with the, this place could do with the church school. The Berlin garrison under Sholo Beliba, Beliba, Beliba. It's going to push out. You currently serve no purpose. You are building a sloop, as are you. Let's move my fleet here. We still control the crossing, and now we're preventing them anyone from sailing into Rostock and frustrating us too badly. I mean, it's it's sorely tempting. Let's take Ferdinand de Constantine, push them east. So you're not getting any... So march you to the east where you can combine with your reinforcements. Yeah, Cologne, we've only just captured it, so let's repair. Let's take... To be honest, I might send you actually south down towards Turin. Because we do have... Oh, I remember this. Um, didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to directly assault such a small amount of guys. I'm happy to wait, let these guys replenish, and then take both these cities in one fell swoop. But my main hang-up is... We could push this side of the river, so this force here under George Louis Suffren can push down towards Breslau, and they can do that if Ferdinand de Constantine recruits three cavalry, four infantry. Let's get one Lancer Guards, a Hussar, and a... Can I not... There we go. Cassier and four infantry. Do you have light troops? Okay, let's get two light troops. Let's get some sharpshooters. Because we do have... Oh, it's because the place one place we can build these is currently maxed out. Okay, let's get... So sharpshooters were there. Two sharpshooters and let's get a unit of line. Because Suffren can, can push down to hit Breslau. But I don't, oh, I don't want to extend too far that way while I've got this really big ugly pocket here. Because these are quite good defensively. So I suppose maybe the name of the game is to keep pushing south down into northern Italy. And sort of consolidate my position in Central Europe. You're still waiting on stuff to be recruited. Obviously Spain is still Spain. This force to the north is going to push south towards Lisbon. London's recruiting a reasonable amount of troops, but let's get a couple more howitzers and let's get some sharpshooters and some Line infantry, we do have artillery waiting for them in Paris. Obviously Paris is also f fully recruiting. Um, okay, let's take... Because we don't need them there to guard Berlin anymore. Berlin is pretty happy with us, and they're slowly becoming every day a little bit, little bit more Catholic. So let's take Charlotte Belbert. Oh no, he can't actually attack yet. Okay. Let's march them into range, see if they will intercept us. Nope. So Berlin is not going to sit by with an empty recruitment queue. You're going to keep building infantry. So then, down here, 
we have two troops, two armies guarding Ardabil, who are trying to back each other up. They hide behind women's skirts. <laughs> and we have more men pushing up as well. Men. You're in a good position. Yeah, see, this is tempting. To push you across the river. Setting up camp. Your orders, your majesty. You also across the river. Yes, sir. You ooh, I might run out of troops. Yes, run out of armies. Cause if I could get you, if I could get you on that bridge. You on that bridge. Yes, sir. Then you further up the river on the east bank. So if this guy marches this way, we'll hit Bastien Perot first. If they march east, we might hit Adrian Mar uh, Marie Sansé. Then we've got Benoit Ajero, who is also waiting to see if they push. My spy push up towards Anatolia. My troops here, I'm actually not so confident about. So let's try and get you back over here. So these armies can support each other. In Baghdad, keep churning out troops. I mean, I've missed one, but I'm going to get a cavalry unit there. Yes, sir. So then down here, yeah, so you're ready. You just can't go anywhere. As are you. Okay. There we go. Marburg. Yeah, Marburg's being destroyed. Cambridge is going to abolish slavery, then go on to secular humanism. Good. So let's hit end turn. The first end turn in a long time. Oh god, you're marching towards Damascus. Fall back! Fall back! Again, I need to be I need to be careful, even though I've got buckets and buckets of money, that's just not an excuse to start throwing away um throwing away armies. Armies that could be fruitfully used. Potentially Ooh, oh my poor little sloop. Damn. But that's why you send sloops for that kind of mission. If they want to try and attack you and do damage, then it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I need to push against that pocket. So what I was talking about before I trailed off was the army... Ooh, interesting. Okay, disregard that. That army is the leftovers of the other army we've attacked, but we're being attacked by this army again, which does look very nice. So that's one thing that, that the additional units mod has helped with Austria, is that their roster was a bit bland, but now they've added at least some pretty neat things. So let's hold them off and slaughter them. But so I sent an army down south towards the French-Italian border, but I could actually get them aboard a ship in Marseille and sell them uh, to uh, Sardinia, maybe onto Naples, and start a war in the quote-unquote soft underbelly. Maybe. Okay, we are going to be mar- Actually, we don't need to march out. This is a almost perfect terrain. So let's deploy You're going to need to trundle forward just a little bit to Fusiliers. I mean, it would be useful to have one unit just sit, just, just keep firing from a high level. So you guys might actually sit back here, firing round shot while the armies push forward. That doesn't mean you're going to be at fire it will off. In which case, then, let's strengthen the right flank with four units of line. The left flank has been made up of some regiment, Etranger, guard engineers, uh, guard 
uh, engineers, not guard engineers, and I've got some chasseurs up yet. I'm probably going to try and rush up ahead of my line to put spikes down. I mean, I totally haven't deployed my cavalry, but that's fine. Okay, right, this isn't, that's not ideal. Fat fingers. Let's get you lined up right with the guns. Ooh, they've got howitzers. Oh, I haven't deployed my howitzers! Oh, god damn it. You know, you just get so carried away. I'm so, I'm so excited to see... You guys open up on the Hungarian Hussars. So... Oh, they are... F uh, they are hucking shrapnel shot at me. So the guns up on the hill keep engaging the mortars because we have knocked out one of their guns. But my light infantry run over onto the flank. I, mean, I don't know where these artillerymen have decided, got the the notion to run away. Spread out right now. Some of the Jaegers, Hussars. That's right. Wander into my. They're focusing on my howitzers for counter battery with quicklime. So that's that's good. blast them. Well, I say that. I've lost a lot of gunners. Let's get my howitzers opening up. So my light infantry will tear these horse grenadier guards a new one and allow us to begin to turn their flank. So who are you? You are just some random blunderbussing horse guard unit. That's probably going to be where their reinforcements are coming in, actually. So we're going to win on the right flank, deploy my cuirassier to knock back their infantry push, bring my infantry around on the flank. Do not break formation. So you may need to be ready to engage the 8th Horse Guards. Everyone else is going to fall upon the flank of the enemy. You guys are going to pour some really good fire into the flank of that action there. No, nope. you guys need to pivot for now. Engage the engineers, you guys engage the marines. Oh, that's friendly fire, quick climb. Everyone, round shot. The Jaegers right at the back. Let's 
two units have broken there. Understandable, but fundamentally uh, not critically important. So those light horse are going to attack the poor old light horse. There we go. Cuirassier come in, knock out the Hungarian Hussars. Then these three units here become free to pivot like so and pour fire. Because any reinforcements aren't a problem. Hit the Jaeger with my cavalry. Their, their infantry is in pretty dire straits. You intercept the Fusiliers. My general fight against the Hussars. All my infantry has to kind of stay where it is. Where's my other... Oh, okay, right, right, right. Cavalry unit, well, artillery unit routed. Fair enough, Ski. Bring my cavalry back to fight against the central, against this combat here. Try to extricate my general out to attack their artillery. Yeah, their infantry's broken on the on the right flank. My cuirassiers are cutting their their um, infantry up. There we go. Light infantry hedge uh, create a position to fight against the. Actually, no, you don't. You don't really have the time to do that. Fight against Hungarian Hussars. You keep blasting the 40th Regiment with canister shot. You hit their artillery. Keep the cavalry here ready to hit the infantry as it's coming in for support. Throw these guys in to fight in the melee combat. No, don't don't melee fight them. You've advanced into point blank musketry, so it's gonna be a battle of nerves. Nerves that we managed to win. Advance to the top of that hill. Heavy cavalry, charge them. Swiss line. Get over here into the action. My cavalry's won the fight here. Let's get my cuirassiers over to hit the general's bodyguard. Get my general's bodyguard out of there. Back to the action. My regiment étranger going to go in and help fight here. So here come the reinforcements. You guys run around that combat. Newman Bayonet charge the unit of Marines that are still standing firm. They are broken. Form ranks. Engineers begin to form. Be positioned to defend against the oncoming hordes. Artillery's coming in. Let's 
this infantry is going to attempt to run into a blocking position. Yeah, my cavalry wasn't going to last there. Actually, push my light infantry up. You can shoot who you like. These men are opening up against that unit of marines. Yeah, that unit of Swiss line is surrounded. There we go, and then let's unleash our deadliest weapon against these tiny handfuls of enemy troops. Third regiment have gone. Fortieth regiment is still standing. New men shoot into the flank of the fortieth. There goes the quick climb. See, those General's bodyguard are doing quite a good job against my General's bodyguard. There we go. Swing the flank around. Hey, Rifleman. You got a bit too close there, buddy. Oh, they're bayonet charging. Make sure my... howitzers don't do too much damage. Irregulars versus... My... Skirmish troops. Okay, you ran in from all the way around the edge of the map. Oh, that got really messy real quick. But still, it's a it's a victory. A victory nonetheless. Cool. That, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> but there we go, the entire army was nearly destroyed. This force is very badly depleted, but... There we go. Ooh, are they going to attempt to intercept us? I mean, they will continue to try and build forces to... Push us, push us out of Madrid, but once that force to the rear has resupplied and regrouped, we can then uh, begin using Spain as a base of operations to push against the remaining Spanish territories. And then in due course, that will be the end of them. Yeah, if they push against me near Jerusalem, we will fall back. Well, we will attempt to. If we can't, we will try and fight them for as long as we can. Ooh, intercept... No, that's intercepting them with those guys. That's not what I want. Intercept them with the city garrison, however, is another matter. Because they have one gun, we should do quite a lot of damage to Merkan the Rusty. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to uh, end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this uh, defense of Baghdad against the Ottomans. Cheers, everyone.